next to game then. Um, how do you end up picking things up again after, you know, it's only a 2-0 defeat, but actually how do you get things back on the road again? Because you were having a really good run before Saturday. Yeah, I mean, Doncaster are a good team. You know, obviously, they're up there for a reason. Um, but you've got to take the positives from the game the other day. I thought we played some half-decent football at some times. Um, so we've got to take that into the Exeter game and try and get a result against them. Russell sort of said, yeah, there was the odd little glitch, but actually overall it was a good game, just perhaps unfortunate that yeah, a couple of times they managed to get through. Yeah, it was, as Russ said, two sloppy goals really. Um, we switched off from the first one um, and the second one we should have put the ball out of play to allow Winnie to get off the pitch because uh, he couldn't run. Unfortunate things, is that sometimes, you know, they talked about communication sometimes for new guys at the back, you know, is that something which you can easily just overcome? Yeah, I think... I think, well, first of all, I think everyone's got to just naturally switch on, but if someone's not, then someone's got to shout at them, make sure they're switched on, get back into position. Um, and the second one, yeah, we, as a back five, we should have noticed that Winnie was down and put the ball out because we had, we had the ball comfortably, so, yeah. I bet there's people within you do, that you naturally would end up looking to, to be the person who's going to make that extra shout, you know, what's going on? Yeah. To be honest, when I looked round, I didn't, I didn't actually see him on the floor, so that's partly my fault as well. Um, but yeah, I, I should have seen it. But can you sort of, right, uh, let's put it to one side, let's focus now. We've got another tough game, and it's, it's such a tough and away game to Exeter. Yeah, like I said, we've got to take the positives out of the game, uh, move on to Exeter. Um, they're a beatable team like anyone, um, so we're going to go over there and give it a right go. Um, hopefully we can get a win. As a very positive attitude, they're a beatable team, you know, despite their high position. And actually, Paul Tisdale, he's saying, come on, we want to be in the playoff places. Everyone's beatable in this league. As, you, as you've seen, we've, we've beat Carlisle. Um, yeah, we've beat teams up there. Like, so hopefully we can go there and get a result. It's a difficult place, though. They've got a very good home record. Yeah, they've got a good home record, but, you know, that don't mean anything. It's a game at the end of the day, isn't it? How do you end up preparing yourself then? You know, you, you, you have a very positive attitude. Does that sort of naturally flow amongst the whole of the team and then when you get to training today, ahead of tomorrow? Yeah, we, obviously we've got a couple of days to prepare. Um, you never get too low and you never get too high. You've got to stay like medium. Um, so we'll go into a Tuesday positive. Um, as I keep saying, we're going to get a result. Was it different with, you know, Gary had the flu, so that he wasn't there on Saturday, he was always going to be up in the stands, he was never, never going to be in the dugout. Was that different? Did it, was it, did it feel different with Ross in charge? Um, no, Ross still done a good, a good job. Um, obviously, it's a different character to the gaffer, but um, no, not really. Mate. And just a little bit less shouting maybe, but uh, sometimes, it, sometimes you need that. But no, Ross did a good job. Hopefully Gary might be off his sick bed in order to uh, to be there with Exeter. You know, what kind of things do you want to try and personally get out of, you know, when you've got such a short turnaround? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the gaffer will be there. Um, but yeah, like I say, everyone's just got to, we're going to give it a right go. Um, we need the win, um, so hopefully we can get a result. Suspension's going to mean a bit of jiggling around. Are you as a, as a back unit, are you able to do that quite easily? Do you feel that you can quite easily have others coming in? Yeah, probably only be one change on it, but um, yeah, we've played with everyone for nearly, well, most of us, 18, 18 months, nearly two years, so whoever comes in, comfortably slotting. Fantastic, thanks very much, all the best. Thank you. Jack, how, how pleased are you to be having one of your best runs in the team coinciding with the best run in results of the season? Yeah, pleased, yeah. Um, obviously, pleased for the team as well, getting the results, and we need a few more to... Um, to get safety, so hopefully starting Tuesday we can do that. Yeah, was was the big disappointment for Saturday that you went for more than seven hours without conceding, and then the goals were both pretty avoidable, weren't they? Was that what was spoken about most after the game? Yeah, we knew if we got to like the 50 minute mark or something, it was a it would have been a, a record. Um, but as you say, yeah, we was disappointed uh, with the first goal. We we switched off pretty pretty quickly, and uh, the second goal, um, yeah, was was stupid as well. We should have put the ball out of play to to let Winnie get off the pitch. Yeah, if it had been a screamer or something, you know, from one yeah. of the quality yeah. players, you wouldn't have minded as much, probably, would you? You probably would have accepted it a bit more, yeah. Yeah, what, what are your overall thoughts on League 2 this season? Because you're one of the players in the squad that have played in the league before, um, but obviously some people haven't. Um, some people have taken a while to adjust the step up, but do you feel like you've handled it right? Yeah, I feel like I've handled it all right. Um, I've played League above, so I've seen what that league's about as well. 
Um, there are definitely teams in this league that can play in that league. Um, and I think we're one of them. So hopefully um, we get a few results, get up the table, and then next year see where we go. Yeah, there's been a, a bit of stop start for you, hasn't it, at times? But do you feel like you're, you're in there now, hopefully for the duration? Hopefully, yeah. Um, me personally, I never stop going. I always make sure I'm ready for every match. So if the gaffer needs me, I'm there. Yeah, any memories of playing at Exeter before? Uh, no, I haven't played at Exeter. First before. time? First time, yeah. Yeah, but they, they, they are, as Mark said, strong home record. But Cheltenham's away record's been pretty decent recently, hasn't it? So. Exactly. And as I say, everyone can beat everyone in this division. So hopefully we can get a result. Yeah, do you think the wing back role is suiting you this season? Yeah, uh, I don't mind it. I'll, p you know me, I play anywhere. But um, yeah, wing backs, especially with Manny next to me, I really enjoy playing with Manny. I think he's a really good player. Um, he allows me to get forward a bit more because he's a good defender. Yeah. So I really enjoy it. Yeah. You're the only survivor, really, aren't you, in the, the defence from last season? <laughs> yeah. If you look across it. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, I am actually. Yeah. So you think it's uh, it's evolved throughout the season, hasn't it? It's probably. A lot more mobile than it was earlier in the season. A lot, um, yeah. We've got a few younger players, mo more mobile players, as you say. Um, but they've done really well since they've come in. Um, so praise to them. Really. Yeah, we were talking about Tim earlier. And how well he's done since he came in. What's he like to play with? <laughs> he's a big man, isn't he? Um, no, he's he's quality. He's so comfortable on the ball, and he's a good defender. Um, wins a lot in the air as well. Um, doesn't talk a lot, but you know where he's going to be. Um, yeah, who, who does like most of the talking out the back? Probably Will. Um, Manny's a good talker as well behind me, so that's that's important. But yeah, probably Will. Yeah, and if Will isn't obviously not going to be there is he tomorrow, so it's someone else is going to have to start shouting a bit more. Yeah, whoever plays, um, well, as a back four or five, whatever we're going to play, um, we're going to have to step up and uh, all the uh, yeah. What's the aim? Do you think now between the end of the season for the Just team? Win every game. That's what we're going in to do. Just see how many points we can get, see how well we can play, show what we can do. Yeah. Cheers, Jack.